it sounds simple, but it's really not that simple. Should you wear one? Should you not wear one? Do I have to at the grocery store or the mall? That's the question. That's right, Ross. A lot has changed in the last 24 hours. It's confusing. We get it. And that's why we did some checking. As we showed you, there are some exceptions yeah. that you still have to wear a mask when traveling and if a business or a city requires them. Let's see how people and businesses locally are reacting to this news. Here's ABC6 News reporter Devin Martin. We've all had to wear these face masks for such a long time. And now that the statewide mask mandate is officially over, many businesses in our area are wondering what the next steps are, whether to follow the governor or to keep their mask mandate in place. It feels great. You know, you finally see light at the end of the tunnel. You get to see a lot more people coming in. It's always nice to see smiles instead of masks. You take that every day. Cole manages Jefe Rojo in downtown Rochester. He says he and his staff are still learning about the mandate. So it's always nice to see like all the pieces of the puzzle finally come together and hopefully we can get back to that 100% uh, capacity, no mass, smiles all over. And all throughout Rochester tonight, businesses are adapting. At Trader Joe's, if you're fully vaccinated, you don't need to wear a mask inside. Also at Quick Trip in town, the wear a mask notice signs are gone. But at Hy-Vee Crossroads, a sign is still up requiring a mask inside. And the manager refused to tell me if I needed to wear one to shop or not. I'm still currently choosing to wear my mask until more people are vaccinated in Rochester. For thirsty Belgian owner John Karish, this announcement marks a new day for his business. They no longer have to enforce who wears a mask or not. We're dealing with it as it comes. In the industry the last year was that bartenders and waitresses were kind of made to be uh, like a police force. We were asked to enforce things that we never signed up for. And today, we don't have to do that anymore. That statement is also echoed by one of his employees. We entered unprecedented times, and now we're kind of stepping out of that, I guess, and back into focus. Preparing for the future. I'm just happy to hear the announcements that we're going to get getting back to what we do best. In Rochester, Devin Martin, ABC6 News.